All right, hey, hey, it's Mega here, and this is the after action review for Wednesday Night Drag, September 15th, 2021. I think, I think this is going to go in the Hades of Mega Moto channel, yeah. Um, so that's where all my other drag racing videos are, okay? So anyway, this night, I, I drag raced with my Toyota RAV4 Prime SE, okay? Um, yeah, it's the first time. Uh, so, so the reason I didn't one reason I didn't ride the light B out there tonight is because the brakes don't work on it anymore. Okay, so the pistons got seized, and I tried to exercise them. And I said, ah, I just said, forget it. Just, just buy a new brake. So that's what I did. I bought a new whole new brake setup, and, and yeah, the brakes weren't doing so good during the last uh, Supermoto race. So that's the reason I wasn't running the. Plus, I have the dirt setup on it right now. I didn't want to put the Supermoto setup back on it. So, so yeah. Um, so I decided to take this guy out there and see what it can do. Um, I, I, I was planning to do it anyways, just to see what it can do, all right? And yeah, so driving out there was pretty cool. Uh, um, I, I, last time I went to Sonoma Raceway, I had the trailer on it, okay? And we, we were about 37 miles, yeah, about 37 miles is how far we got. We, we almost, we made it to South San Francisco pretty much, okay? And then yeah, so this time I didn't have the trailer on it. We got actually much more EV range out of it. Uh, we didn't use any gas until we got to San Francisco. Uh, it was like about 47, almost 47 miles, 47, 48 miles, something like that. All right, pretty pretty damn good. Um, so man, this thing is just so good, so thrifty for uh, just everything. <laughs> okay, it's it's aw it's an awesome vehicle. Okay, um, so we make it to the racetrack. One of the things that I did before we got to the racetrack is I made sure there was a little bit of charge in the battery before we hit the track, okay? Um, so what I did is I put it in the charge uh, the charge mode, okay? Basically, charge mode, what it does is it um, it just uses the, the, the engine, the internal combustion engine, to charge the battery, okay? Um, it's like if you've ever driven a Prius and you, you totally deplete the battery, and it, give, it becomes really, really, really slow, and it, it's just pretty much trying to divert all the power to moving the car and charging the battery. Um, yeah, that's how it is. It's like it's really, really slow. <laughs> you can hear it, it's really loud. Uh, I suggest using the charge mode for if you're gonna be driving on like flat level level roads and stuff. So, so you just don't, you don't eat up as much gas because it's gonna eat up more gas in charge mode. Anyway, I was able to get about 15 miles of uh, EV range charge, all right, about half the half the battery pack was charged, and um, and yeah, so then then we go in, we tech, um, what class that we ran in was Sport Street, or Street Sport, one of those, um, and, uh, and that's, they said like, yeah, that's kind of like where all the hybrids are. Um, there was Supras there. There was uh, there was like an Accord, um, an old Mustang, an Lexus, um, those kind of cars. There was a F one fifty. The F one fifty is faster than this, guys. <laughs> by the way, um, yeah, dude. Um, it's and those were the cars that we ran against. All right. Um, I think the important thing was there was, they didn't have any cars that have V eights in it. But I don't think that's true because I think that Lexus had a V8 also. So I, I don't really know. I'll have to look up what the Sports Street classifications are. You know, the, the prerequisites and stuff. But yeah, that's the one that we ran in. I, I think that was that's okay. So the first uh, the first practice rolls along. All right. So I made sure we got the thing in the bat. We got char some charge in the battery. My plan was to run it in EV mode for the first practice. You get three practices. All right. And then, uh, and then for the second and third practice, I was gonna put it in auto EV HP mode. Okay, um, so basically, what that, what EV mode is, and I want to talk about the two, the, the different modes. Um, EV mode is it prioritizes being an EV, all right? Um, it only uses power from the battery. Supposedly, it only uses power from the battery, but that wasn't the case. Okay, um, and and it's much it's much slower. Okay, is what I'm gonna say. Um, but I just wanted to see what it could do. And then I, I, for the second run, I, second and third run, I used auto EV HV mode. All right, so basically, it's an EV 
until you need more power, all right? The more you get on the throttle, it's going to turn that internal combustion motor on and it's going to it's going to give you more go power, okay? <laughs> it's going to use every little bit of power it can to make you go faster, all right? Um, I, I'm not going to lie, like the EV mode is kind of annoying because it's it's pretty fast. It'll get you up to like 50 miles an hour real fast and after that it's just kind of really slow. Um, and and when you kind of need that that acceleration that power like let's say like there's a light that's going to turn red you know and you just need you need more power so, so you can get through the light before it turns red or or you got to stop really hard right so so you you want to you're going to like uh, no I'm going to step on it and I'm going to try to beat that light okay and uh and you step on it and like it's in EV mode it doesn't give you the power all the power right away all right it it, it kind of it the power tapers off it's happened to be a couple times and I wish I could just leave it in auto EV HV man that's fine for me man so and then so if you really lay into the throttle in auto EV HV it kicks on that motor and you get a big boost of acceleration all right it is it is noticeable or between the two modes okay so I want to say I wish I could have tried all the modes there's a mode to just lock it into HV um, hybrid hybrid mode okay anyway uh, so yeah, I'm gonna kind of talk about like what happened, like how the car behaved. So this is my first time drag racing it. All right, I knew 302 horsepower. I want to see what this bad boy can do. I paid forty thousand dollars for this machine. Let's see what it can do. All right, Toyota. So here we are. Uh, first run. First run. I raced against a Mustang and I lost against it. <laughs> this is so sad, right? It was like a 90s Mustang. I don't know if it was a V6 or V8. It probably was the V8 because the V6s are really slow. Um, uh, so I got a reaction time, a dot one five one three, dot five one three. Yep, that's not very good, guys. That's that's okay, okay. Um, and and uh, so I uh, also want to point out that we were doing the sportsman tree, okay? The way the sportsman tree works, I'm used to doing the pro tree, okay? That's for the motorcycle races. They only use the pro tree um, most of the time, okay? But anyway, we're the the sportsman tree is so slow, okay? You've got a yellow, you got three yellow lights and then a green light, right? So it goes yellow, 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 then green, okay? So you want to go on the third yellow, obviously, or as as closest to the third yellow before it turns green as possible, okay, to get your best reaction time. So, so that that's what we were that's what we were uh, doing tonight, okay, the sportsman tree. Um, so I had a 60 foot of 2.474, 330 foot of 6.872, 660 foot of 10.690. At 63.81 miles an hour and a thousand foot of 14.045. All right, our ET was 16.918 <laughs> at 78.2 miles an hour. Hella slow, man. I told you that Mustang beat, beat us. The Mustang ran a 16.7. It was two tenths of a second faster than this. Okay, well, in EV mode we were so okay. Let me tell you what happened in EV mode. One, I didn't put it in sport mode. I forgot to put it in sport mode. It was in normal mode. I, I don't honestly. I don't think it really makes much of a difference because I think if you just if you give it full throttle, it'll give you all the power and uh, as much as possible. Um, and one thing I was not expecting is for the internal combustion engine to turn on because it did. All right. If, if I remember correctly, I gotta watch the video again. But if I remember correctly, um, so so this is what I, I also I'm gonna show, tell you how I launch it. Okay. So I would go up to the lights, and and um, and then so you got the top top light and the bottom lights. All right, you got two two lights on the top and two lights on the bottom. And so what I did is I I staged so all the lights would turn on. All right, that's like kind of like shallow. You're in shallow stage or you're like in the middle sort of. Okay, and then uh, what is it? Um, uh, so yeah, once we're staged, um, I. I use my right foot to to kind of just creep up to the line, all right? Or I'm just dragging the brakes a little bit, all right. Once we're stage where we want to go, I put my left foot, all right. My left foot. I, I'm trying to use my feet, but you guys can't see my feet in the video. <laughs> I put my left foot on the brake, all right. So left foot braking, and then I got my right foot ready to stomp on that pedal when I let go. Okay. There's no launch control on this car, so. And then so when I want to go, when I, so I, when I, I was going on the third yellow, okay? So once I see the third yellow, I go. So, 
So third yellow, I see the third yellow come up. I let go of the brake and I stomp on the on the gas. Okay, and so that's that's the way I was launching it. All right, and uh, so that got me a point five one three. Uh, no, no, the first one I deep staged. Yeah, the first one I deep staged. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I remember I actually deep staged. I, I went. I went too far, and I was like, "Oh crap! Well, just stay here, whatever." <laughs> so that's fine. So, so I actually deep staged that time, um, and and I still got a pretty bad reaction time. Um, I think I I knew the sportsman tree kind of sucks. It's really slow, so you have to really you know you have to really know where to position yourself and where to go and everything. Reaction times are very important. That's what Hayes Mega is trying to get at. Okay. Anyway, it was pretty slow. All right, and I saw that the internal combustion motor kick on. I was like. So I guess there's a way, I, I think it senses if, if you step on the pedal like really, really fast, it's going to turn that motor on so you, you, you're going to have enough juice to go, all right? But I, I'm telling you, it was not very impressive, all right? 16.9, my light B is about as fast as that, okay? My light B is probably, is faster than that, okay? My impulse is faster than that, all right? Um, the DR650, mm, I don't know. I don't know about that one, all right? <laughs> okay? So that was the first run. So I'm a little disappointed how slow it is. We lost against an old Mustang, you know. Um, and uh, and so second second practice run rolls along, and so this time I like oh I, I know what to do. Oh yeah, also I turned the traction control off. That's another thing I did. So I, I, before every run, uh, from now on, what I would do is put it in sport mode. Oh yeah yeah okay. There's another thing. So before the the second run, uh, I. When I saw the motorcycles leave, because they're right next to us, when I see them leave, I, I turn the car on and I put and I put it in charge mode, all right? I hold the charge hold button down until it goes into charge mode and it kicks that internal combustion engine on and it charges the battery, all right? So, so at the same time, we're warming that engine up so, you know, it, it's good to go. It's nice and warm, it's ready to go, you know, once we punch it, it it, it's, it's it's warm all right also it heat it'll heat the battery up too so you know the battery the battery will be happier okay <laughs> uh, i'm sure you know if uh, batteries flow ba flow electricity better when they're warmer okay not when they're cold but anyway it wasn't that hot today all right it was about 80s all right um and then i put the traction control off okay traction control off and then I put it in the sport mode. So that's what I gotta do before every time we go up to the thing, all right? So, okay, this, but, and then so, um, when it's our turn to go up there, uh, I drive up there and then once, once we're in the staging area, once we're like in the pre-grid area, is what I'm gonna say, I put it in auto EV HV mode, okay? That's the one where we're in EV mode, but, but like if it needs power, it's gonna turn that engine on and give us more power, okay? So this is what happened, all right? So I go there. Okay, I shallow stage this time. Okay, this time it's like the top light and the bottom lights. They're they're illuminated, okay? And then um, and then I go on the third yellow, all right? So here's what I got. I got a reaction time of dot triple three, all right? Dot three three three, sixty foot of two point three, flat uh, three thirty foot of six point oh six two, six sixty foot of nine point one eight six, at seventy eight point five two miles an hour. Uh, a thousand foot is 11.904. Uh, ET was 14.226 at 96.81 miles an hour. I, well, I tell you this, man. When it took off, I was I was surprised. I was like, holy shit, this thing is flying. <laughs> it's it just it is a beast. Okay, G going from EV mode to auto EV HV mode is a big difference. I don't know. I'm not sure how much horsepower it has in EV mode, but in auto EV HV mode, it's got like it feels like it's got like double the power, man. But anyway, it RET went down from like 16.9 to 14.22. Okay, that's that's almost three seconds. That's like three seconds faster. Yeah, almost three seconds faster. Holy crap, that is a big difference. All right, just just from changing modes. Okay, <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, I, I wish we had we could get another extra run. I would have tried like maybe a, a HV mode, okay, just the hybrid mode, to see if that made a difference. All right, and we totally smoked the. We were racing a Honda Accord. We totally smoked that Accord. That Accord only did a 15.794. Okay. Okay, so the third practice uh, um, run comes along. All right, 
Um, so it, the last reaction time was dot three three three. So so Hades make a new. Okay, yeah, this thing is fast now. <laughs> it, it, we're gonna we know what every all the modes and everything what we gotta have it on when we go. Okay, I don't have to worry about this stuff on the motorcycle <laughs> as much. All right, and uh, so traction control off sport mode. I put it in charge mode before we go up to the to the light, and then I put in auto EVHV EVHV mode. Okay. And then so when we when we get up there, so at this time I'm trying to get a better reaction time. So because because reaction times are very important, they can make or you can, you can win or lose a race based on your reaction time. All right. So I'm trying to get my reaction time a little bit lower. All right. Um, so this time I deep stage. So what happens is I wait for I, it's I wait for one of the bulbs to turn off. All right. So so you're you're creeping right along. And then, and then one light goes, one set of light goes on. The second set of lights go on, goes on. And then I go a little bit farther until one of them disappears. All right, and that's what's called deep staging. Right, it puts you closer to the beam. So, so like when you take off, your reaction time is better. Okay, um, and this is the reaction time I got. All right, pretty much I launched it the same way we did before. Um, reaction time was dot one five four, much much better. Um, that's some that's some fighting reaction times. I'll tell you that. All right, 60 foot was 2.388. 330 foot was 6.153. 660 foot is 9.280 at 78.39 miles per hour. 1,000 foot is 12 seconds flat, and ET was 14.324 at 96.67 miles an hour. Pretty much the same speed as we did last time. We got a little bit slower. I think there was a there was a strong headwind that night. No, 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 there wasn't. We run pretty much ran the same time because what I did was we deep staged. So when you deep stage, um, you don't get you don't get as much of a run up until you get to the beams. And so when you deep stage, it um, it makes your ETs longer. So that was the effect of that, right? But our reaction times went down. So so Hayes Omega got what he wanted. I got a better reaction time at the cost of our ET, all right? So so I'm thinking if I had staged the same way, it would have ran almost the same time. So it's pretty consistent. Very, it's very good for drag racing. Okay, this guy. Provided, you know, the wind doesn't play any games with you. One, one thing about this thing is it's shaped like a brick. It's not the most aerodynamic vehicle in the world, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm going to say, okay? Um, we were racing a Ford F1 250, and the dude that was racing it was really good, okay? Um, he got a reaction time of .026 seconds, okay? Much, much, much better than ours. He would have, if he raced us, he probably would have, uh, he probably would have won. Alright, he got an ET at 13.709. Um, so that F-150 is faster than us, even in auto EVHV mode, okay? So that thing's got to have more than 300 horses, that's for sure. He beat us by .7 seconds. It's a lot. Okay. So the next round comes along and it's the first round of eliminations, all right? I try my best not to race the guy that I raced last time because I knew he was really good. <laughs> I was like, hey, you know, we'll save that for the end. <laughs> How about that? Um, so so that's what, I, I really only had two runs to go off of. I had the 14.3 and the 14.2 run. So I said, hey, you know, just split the, put, kind of put it in the middle, you know, and, um, and maybe I will try to go a little bit faster try to get a better reaction time okay um, so I dial in a 14.28 all right um, and and yeah that's what we rolled with 14.28 we ran a 14.22 and a 14.3 something so that's kind of like in between so that's why I chose that and uh, so we were racing a Porsche Carrera all right um, 911 Carrera something like that um, it was a little orange one um, we dialed in the 14.28 and we hit a reaction time of minus 0.074. So we red lit, okay? So what happens when you red lit? When you red light means uh, you you jumped the gun, basically, okay? Um, you took off before the green light, all right? That's what that means. Um, so, so if you red light, it pretty much means you immediately lost, all right? It's like, you know, like in tennis, if you don't if you do not do the surf in the right place, you get uh, what's called a, what is it? You get a foul, right? I think that's a, I think that's a foul. Well, well in, in drag racing, you only get one chance, okay? <laughs> um, anyway, so the 60 foot, we got a 2.454, 330 foot is 6.237, 660 foot is 9.369, 
uh, at 78.42 miles an hour, a thousand foot was 12.089, uh, ET was 14.411 at 96.77 miles an hour. We always get the same speed, 96 miles an hour, and I find that interesting. I think the only thing that's changing our times is maybe the wind, I'm not sure. But anyway, our ET was 14.4, so we were off by like uh, one tenth, yeah, one tenth of a second. It's actually not too bad. Um, but I was expecting to go a little bit faster, like 14.3 or something. So I think there was like a headwind or something. Um, also, we, I think I deep staged a little too much, all right? So in, instead of stop, what I should have done was do the same thing as last, I think what I did last time was I, once the, the top, one, one, once one set of lights came off to deep stage, I stopped right away. All right, and that's what I probably should have done on this. I think I stopped and I creeped forward a tiny bit, and, and that's what I think that's what caused us to red light. All right, so next time I kind of know what to do. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'll talk about that in the improves. All right, and so we lost that race. The other guy dialed in a 13.16 and he ran a 13.336. He was off by like two, two tenths of a second. Yeah, and his reaction time was 0.167. That's close to the reaction time we got last time. So, um, if I had not, I think if I had a not red lit, we probably would have beat this guy, okay? Because we were only like one tenth off and he was like two tenths off. All right. Um, and it may have come down to reaction time if it was bad. All right. So, Hayes Mega got eliminated in the first round. So sad, right? <laughs> I hate it when that happens, man. Uh, I feel like I'm not getting my money's worth, okay? Um, but, but yeah. So, but, but net. So, so I want to talk about what happened and what we could do to improve now. This is that part of the AAR. Um, so we went to Sonoma, we raced, and I, I, I did a pass on EV mode, and then I did two passes on auto EV HV mode. Maybe next time we will try it on HV mode to see what happens, okay? And you definitely don't want to do it in charge mode. I think it will be just slow as balls in charge mode, <laughs> okay? Um, yeah, so that's what happened. We lost in the first round. Um, because we red lit, all right. So, so next time, uh, next time we go back to the track, we we know what to do, all right. Make sure it's in sport mode. Turn the traction control off. I didn't have any problems with traction, okay. I didn't feel any tires slipping or anything. Um, the all-wheel drive worked great, okay. Um, and it's a heavy vehicle, so yeah. And I know the tires are pretty crappy on this uh, the Rav4 Prime, the stock tires. I can't wait to put some better ones on it. <laughs> All right, but I have to wait till these ones wear out. I don't know. I don't think they're gonna last very long either. They're not very long-lasting tires either. But yeah, I hadn't. I didn't have. I have any problem hooking up. All right, I no wheel spin, nothing like that. All right, it just took off. All right, all-wheel drive power. You know, and you don't have to worry about hurting the drivetrain. It's it got electric drivetrain. Okay, so yeah. So for the improves, just next time, just gonna do the same thing you're doing before. Is mega. You just need more practice. All right. Um, it's not how fast your vehicle is, it's how well you can drive your vehicle, how well you know it, right? So now we've got some data from tonight, so that means if we do come back and we do want to race this again, uh, it, it was kind of fun. I, I kind of do want to do it again. <laughs> um, it was really easy, pretty easy to, to, to race this guy, right? to do a drag race, and it's pretty fast, as you can see. Um, so my goal was to, to uh, I, I, I didn't set very, very high goals, all right? I said, if we can do 15, I'll be happy on this, all right? The first run, I was pretty disappointed. We almost got a 17, 16, 9, all right? I was pretty disappointed. But then I realized, yeah, it's probably, it should be slower in EV mode. I thought, I thought it was giving you all the power, but it's just, it just gives you a little, a little push, you know? Um, that's why that, the internal combustion engine turned on. Um, I'd like to try, I, I kind of wish I could try it in EV mode again. Just to see if it would do that, because I remember right when I right when I stepped on the throttle. I think if you if it sees the throttle open right away, it it turns the internal combustion engine on also to help give you more power. But it's still still slow. It was really slow. Um, and then so we found that at Auto EV HP that it is really really fast. All right, it's three seconds faster. All right, holy crap, that was a big difference. All right, and I think my strategy of Charging the battery a little bit with the the in charge mode helped a bit. All right, I think so. That's probably what we're gonna do before we go to the track every time if we're gonna race this guy. Um, also, another thing is um, the charge mode to warm up the engine. 
before we get up there, it, I think that worked pretty good. Like you want to make sure your engine is warm because that's what it performs best when it's warm, all right? Um, so you can warm the engine up, but you're also you're not wasting you're not wasting the gasoline, you know, um, by letting it idle like that. It's actually charging the battery too. So it, it's like you're not wasting it. You're charging the battery. You're going to use that power later anyways. Okay, so so yeah, um, but yeah, it's going to chomp out your gas a bit. But so I thought that was good, um, and and I'm like yeah, we figured out how to stage. So next time, uh, from now on, when I stage. It will be deep stage, all right. We'll we will wait for the two lights to turn green. Uh, turn, uh, we will wait wait for the top and bottom lights to turn turn on, and then once one of the lights goes off, we just stop. We stop right away. So I gotta get kind of get better at creeping, all right. You got you gotta really slowly creep up there, okay. And it's it's kind of hard in sport mode because you sound just wants to go, you know. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, and just remember it's in sport mode and turn the traction control off. It'd be interesting to try it with different combinations too. That what we, that we might do that next time. Instead of using EV mode, we'll try HV mode, all right, the hybrid mode first, okay? And then maybe we can try a run with, uh, with traction control on to see if it makes a difference. So there's a lot of stuff that we could still experiment, all right? The... Like I said, the more you know your vehicle, the, the better it'll be, okay? The better you'll be at racing, at drag racing, all right? Because it doesn't matter how fast your vehicle is if you don't know how to drive it, <laughs> okay? If you don't know how to launch it, for one thing. Launching it is like half the battle, as I want to say, all right? Um, but yeah, there's some dudes that are pretty good out there, so it, it, it'd be tough. Uh, but anyway, I had a lot of fun driving it. Um, we, we broke into 14s. There's no doubt in my mind that if we hit... If there was like a tailwind that night, we probably could have broken to 13 seconds. So I, I'm, I'm almost sure that this can do 13 seconds. Okay, um, if if the conditions were right, we can do 13 seconds. Is what I want to say. All right, uh, whether it gets faster throughout the night because it gets the because what happens is it it gets colder at night, so the air becomes more dense with oxygen, and so your your the the engine will make more power okay so it might the it might actually make it faster throughout the night and then the wind kind of dies down throughout the night too so that's what kind of throws a wrench in your plans too when you can, it's hard to get it dialed in if your if your vehicle gets faster throughout the night so that's a kind of tough one all right you just gotta be good at like you know figuring out how to how to account for you know the change in the wind or, or temperature you know that kind of stuff but for the most part, it's pretty easy and pretty consistent to drive. I, I kind of, I kind of would like to take it back there and try it again. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. It was a whole lot of fun, and we broke. We we did a 14.2. That's pretty fast, man. That's that's faster than any of my other vehicles. Okay, it's it's faster than my light B. Yeah, um, that's that's pretty damn fast. 302 horsepower. It's not no joke. It it, it is for real, man. To the 302 horsepower for the the RAV4 Prime is no joke, dude. <laughs> it, it, is, it is legit 302 horsepower, okay? Um, and, and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure if we had a tailwind, we could have gotten the 13s. So I, I am pretty sure. 14.2 is almost 13 seconds, so we could have gotten the 13 seconds if we had a tailwind, right? So if it behaves one night and we get a tailwind, we might, we might get into the 13s, all right? But for now, this is a 14-second RAV4 Prime, all right? <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so so next time I, I I'm I'm fairly certain we'll we'll probably take it back again. We'll we'll try again. I, I had a lot of fun and I think I want to try it again. <laughs> and it's also comfortable dri ri driving it. Okay, and it saves gas and everything. I am I am so happy with my new vehicle. Is what I'm gonna say. I love it. All right. And not only is it fast, it's fuel efficient too. Okay, we didn't use a drop of gas until we hit San Francisco. Okay. <laughs> Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. I, I am very, imp I am very impressed with this vehicle, Toyota. You, do, you guys have done a good job. I'm sure in the future there'll probably be something better, but man, I, I am, I am thoroughly impressed with this machine. All right, all right, it's big out. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah. So uh, one thing that we could do, one thing we could do to make it a little bit faster is to do some weight reduction. All right, we could probably take all the stuff out of the trunk. I could take the spare tire out of the trunk, take the jack out, you know, that kind of stuff um, before we go race, all right? Um, some people do that. 
Um, would it make a difference? I don't know. It's a pretty heavy vehicle. I, I'm pretty sure if you shed a couple pounds, it's really not going to make too much of a difference. One thing we could, another thing I think we could do to make it a little bit faster is to overinflate the tires, all right? Put more air in the tires than, than you sh you need. That, then we'll get less rolling resistance, so it'll it'll roll down there. The only problem is we'll get less traction, but it has all-wheel drive. I don't think we'll have a problem with that. Um, I think it will be okay. So we could overinflate it to like 45 PSI or something, just a little bit higher than stock, all right? Um, that could make it go faster and and some kind of weight reduction just clean up the car get get some of that stuff out of there but I, i'm not going to do that <laughs> okay this is this is my utility vehicle all right it's not really a race car you know um but yeah those are the things we can uh, maybe i could wash it too it's kind of dirty so maybe that it created some drag going down the drag strip okay the window was pretty dirty also <laughs> Uh, I don't know what else we could do to make it any faster, man. Maybe make sure it has a full charge before we get there. I mean, I guess we could charge it more. Uh, um, I charge it to about 50%. I think that's enough, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe with a, with a higher state of charge, it might be a little bit faster, you know. Yeah, because it'll have like a higher voltage. So maybe we can try that. Just use the charge mode until it's fully. So in charge mode, it'll only charge up to 80%, though. That's That's, that's what I heard. It won't go, it won't charge it to higher than 80%. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else we could do, man. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else we could do to really make it faster unless we can like hack it to, so to give us more power, but yeah, I don't know. I don't really want to do that either. I want it to be reliable. So that's another thing. Yeah, it's reliable. I don't have to worry about, you know, warming up the engine and all, all like that stuff. It, it you know, um, it's very it's very awesome machine and i love this machine all right all right so that's just some final comments on how maybe we can make this thing faster but i don't think i'm gonna i i could try over inflating the tires we can do that maybe i'll bring an air tank with me or something all right here's me go